Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a PayPal checkout button for your online shop. So let's say that you already have an online shop and you would like to add some more options for your customers to pay you. PayPal is one of the options that you can do especially if you're selling your product worldwide. Since PayPal is one of the most versatile payment gateway that people probably know and people use. So first things first, you want to go to developer.paypal.com and then you're going to want to click on get started. Here you're going to want to log in with your business account. So you know that PayPal actually have a separate account for business as well as personal. So you can go ahead and sign in with your business account. Once you're logged in, you're going to want to go to the apps and credential. So you can see on top here, we got two type of mode on PayPal. So we got the live mode and then we got the sandbox mode. The difference for this two is that on the sandbox, you will be able to create an app in order to try on your payment method so that you know it's going to work. But in order to receive your payment, you're going to need to make sure that you are on live mode right here. So currently on my sandbox one, I already have an apps created. So this is the app. And what this does is that if I am going to create a checkout page with the payment buttons, the PayPal buttons that are going to be created through these apps, it is going to be able to create some sort of simulation so that I know whether the buttons will work or not. But again, in order to receive the actual payment, you're going to want to click this to live and then you're going to want to create your app. So go ahead and click on create app. Now you're going to want to name the app here. So let's say I'm just going to name this payment test one, then go ahead and click create app. All right. So what happens here that we're going to get a client ID and you're going to want to copy this client ID and save it somewhere safe or you can just keep opening this tab right here while you go to your paypal account so you're going to want to sign in into your paypal business account and once you signed in you're going to be able to see a dashboard that looks like this next you want to go to the pay and get paid option and then go to pay links and buttons here we got the editor in order to create the smart button for our PayPal link. So as you can see, we got the PayPal button created right here. And that was the buttons editor. Now let's say that you want to start from scratch. Here I got the saved links and buttons. And let's say I want to create a new button. I can just go ahead and click create buttons. And here we got some choices for the buttons. We got the pay links and button. We got the buy now button. We got the add to cart button and then smart subscribe button as well as a subscribe button. And there will be some more coming in. So in this tutorial, we're going to create the smart subscribe one. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And here we got the choices for the customizations of the button. We're going to start with the product name. So let's say I want to create a yearly subscription and then for the plan name it's going to be gold. And let's say this one is $50 per month. And you can choose the layout if you want. We got the vertical and then we got the horizontal. And you can also change the shape of your button, whether you want it to be rectangle or if you want it to be in the form of pill. I kind of like the pill one, so I think I'm going to choose this one. And then you can choose on the color of your button. I always like the color black, but you know that yellow or blue represent PayPal the most. But again, I think I'm just going to go with black because this looks more elegant. And obviously for the button text, you can choose whether you want to say PayPal or if you wanted to say subscribe. So I'm going to say PayPal instead of subscribe right here. And you can explore some more subscription features if you want. 
but we're just going to focus on the buttons right now and then we can go ahead and click on create plan so I changed the amount to $4.99 per year and all you have to do is just copy the code here and put it on your website now let's try and create another button for the second buttons I'm going to go ahead and click this pay link and buttons so for the pricings here you can actually set whether you want your pricing to be a one set price or you want the customers to pick from a list or whether you want the customers to set the price I personally will choose between the one set price or the customers picks from list instead of the sets price one except for some circumstances that you will want to allow the customers to set their own price so let's say we want to choose customers picks from a list and let's add our product let's say that this one is going to be a chocolate chip cookie and the shipping fee is going to be zero for me and the tax rate is also zero and usd is going to be the currency and here is where you can add the options let's say you want this ones to be vegan or this one is just going to be a regular and then you can set the price so maybe this one comes for $12 and this one's for 10 you can also add more options if you want and you can even let customers to buy more than one at a time and you can add the maximum quantity customers can order I'm just going to let it I'm just going to change this as five and here on the right side of the screen you'll be able to see the preview of your checkout so we got on desktop mode as well as the mobile mode you can also again edit your button however you want it to be let's say I want it to be on horizontal mode or I think vertical looks better all right so I'm going to go with vertical on peel form and then black for the color and the button text are just going to say PayPal and then I'm going to go ahead and click on built it so now I got the button created I'm gonna to go to the button codes right here and I'm going to go ahead and copy the HTML code and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add this buttons onto your Wix website but you can totally use any other website if you want I'm just going to go ahead and use this one's right here so you're gonna to want to go to add element and then you want to search for embed and you're going to want to choose this one's right here so go ahead and click the embed HTML so here make sure that you go to the code section and then you want to paste on the code that you just get from your PayPal and go ahead and click on update now as you can see you got the button created over here all you have to do is just adjust it like so and make sure that you put it into your checkout section now if you remember we got the client ID earlier and what it does is that if you would like to check whether that payment works or not whether it's live or not you can see whether the client ID appears on this code right here and that's basically it that is how you can create a smart button for your paypal and put it into your website i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day